and welcome back for another clean with me today i am cleaning this kitchen it was in desperate need the floors needed to be mopped the countertops needed to be wiped down and of course i had to do some dishes so if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below also don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video if you are returning welcome back Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing and sticking with your girl. So let's hop right into the video. Okay, so before we even get started, I am going to challenge you guys to count how many times I actually had to re-warm re this coffee. Like, oh my gosh, I warmed this coffee up so many times. <laughs> so many times in this video, which I already know in mom life. Saturday morning she's trying to clean trying to get stuff done I don't even know why I attempt to make coffee in the mornings because I never get to enjoy it I am gonna start by decluttering and putting everything back where it is supposed to go I ran the dishwasher the night before so all of that stuff in the dishwasher is clean so now I'm just putting everything back in the pantry and in the refrigerator gave me two bags of apples y'all yes two bags of apples so they have just been sitting in the corner I'm gonna uh, probably cut them up this weekend and cook them and then I'm gonna use some of them to make like apple dumplings and then I'm just gonna use the rest to make like pie filling and put them in the freezer disinfectant on the countertops and then I am using my awesome orange oxygen cleaner and degreaser on the can of uh, not the counters on the cabinets
And now that that cleaner has sat on the cabinets for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and use a warm soapy towel and just clean the cabinets. These cabinets need to, to be cleaned. They were like all greasy and gunky, especially around the handles where everybody is touching. So they really needed to be wiped down and I hadn't wiped them down in quite a while. The same things you want a house in Malibu. Are you feeling the same way I do? Are you feeling the same way I do? garbage bag and I was like when are you gonna open that door and put that garbage bag back in there just put the garbage bag back in the cabinet it took a while I'm not gonna lie I guess I just didn't even notice it but I definitely noticed as I was editing and it feels all right but it's over now time keeps slipping with your skin next to mine and your lips I can fight but it's over now You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside I try to pull this stove out at least once a month and clean under it and on the sides of the stove and the cabinets. But I want y'all to look and notice, look at the grout. Like y'all, our grout is so nasty. So that is going to definitely be the next thing that I do in this kitchen is clean the grout. The grout under the stove is like three shades lighter than the rest of the grout in the kitchen, which is actually kind of gross.
Oh, I wanted to show you guys these. These are like those little stick on lights that you just push and they um, light up. So you can push them again and then they go off. I bought those to go into the kids' closets, but then I forgot to buy batteries. So they're still sitting in the package. and move on to sweeping I know that school has started back for a lot of us and a lot of children are doing um, virtual and some are actually doing in class so I just want to know how you guys are doing especially those virtual parents because I've already <laughs> I've already heard a few stories from teachers with you know parents in the background dressed inappropriately um, they're doing inappropriate things in the background smoking inappropriate things in the background so yeah I just want to see how y'all out there doing with virtual school or if your child is going to um school in class how is that going as far as like the sanitizing and face mask and all of that good stuff As I was sweeping the floor, I started noticing that there was something stuck like underneath that table and when I moved it and apparently the kids had um, some caramel corn and it dropped on the floor and it must have went like under the table um, pedestal and it was actually stuck to the floor. Like I had to take the broom and just like force it up. So this floor definitely had to be mopped because it was sticky and I did not feel like dealing with ants. So yeah, mopping was a definite. the stove earlier with the um, awesome oxygen degreaser and now I'm just going in with a razor blade and scraping all of the burnt on grease and grime off
only had a few dishes to hand wash, some pots, um, and some of Caleb's and Christian's cups that they use. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Y'all know I love, love, love to use Dawn dish soap. And I just used the last bottle that I couponed from like two and a half years ago. I haven't couponed since Caleb was born. And Caleb is now two. So yeah i just used the last bottle so yeah your girl gotta re-up on the done dish soap maybe you taste different hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different wall where the trash can is was so nasty the baseboards the floor everything was like gross so I had to go ahead and wipe all of that down and then I kind of wiped the door down as well and the cabinet that is next to where the garbage is and that is acrylic paint that somehow Caleb um, not Caleb I'm sorry somehow Christian um waste on the side of that cabinet I don't even know how to get that off yeah, I may, may that awesome may work. I don't even know. The original awesome may work to get that off. Or a magic eraser. I don't know. I haven't really tried to get it off. But yeah. The kids have been up for a while and they were now ready for breakfast. So of course, mommy had to put a pause on cleaning to get that done. See you. 
before I start mopping, I'm just going through and spraying some of those dark sticky spots with some of the awesome degreaser. Um, just to make it easier so when I'm mopping, I'm not sitting there scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing with the mop. coming fussing at my kids they were outside probably doing some god knows what they were doing outside in their backyard but <laughs> i was supposed to them tell them to come in the house they were more than likely probably playing with that water and spraying my door which oh my god is so irritating because the water goes through like the glass and i'm like please stop spraying the freaking door so don't be how dark and nasty that water was y'all oh uh, this floor needs to be mopped so bad look at how dirty that water is and the next thing on the list is going to be to clean the grout you should learn that on your own i play cool because i hope you pick it up soon and you know just what to do and that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one